Get on the train Before it leaves the station The truth train is coming Gonna run them down Run them down Hello everybody, how you doing? Okay, it is a busy day It is a really busy day So, um, obviously I've been working on some things today Just got a phone call from Wisconsin Those of you who have been watching my channel recently Know that there's an event going on Basically this weekend and Monday and Tuesday uh, at Eagle Nation Cycles. It's basically like a meet the press event and there's some things going on. Well, I got a phone call today from there. Um, I talked to Linda Kay earlier who was there. And I just got a call from uh, David Starr and Kay Clammer Reitz. And they basically called to give me a little bit of information. So I thought I would go ahead and share some of it with you guys here. Uh, you know. This is exciting stuff, folks. This docudrama getting made about Eagle Nation Cycles and the Michael Funk situation is going to be huge for making a murderer, too. I mean, for making a murderer also, I should say. It, if if we, as, as Stephen and Brendan supporters, make sure that this thing gets seen by enough people for them to see what went down over in Nina, and we get everybody to have that Wisconsin again moment, people that watched the first Making a Murderer, who will then watch this thing and think, Wisconsin again, right? That's the moment that we're looking for, I think. So, got the call. David Starr is the executive producer. Got the call from him and Kay today. And found out they're, they're over there doing some interesting stuff today, as well as tomorrow and Tuesday. Remember, those of you who are in the area, if you want to go down to Eagle Nation Cycles and Nina on, nine, on the 19th, which is Tuesday... Um, they still have like extras roles and, and stuff. So if you actually want to get involved and potentially be an extra, go down there, show your support, and uh, you might potentially be able to even get in as an extra. So please go check that out. But if nothing else, go down and show your support. Say hi to Linda Kay and her friend Wanda. They're both there. Lovely ladies. Uh, they're getting footage of things that are going on there during this event and, and all that. Linda's going to be passing it to me. She's going to be posting it on her channel. She's going to be passing me a great deal of it. And so we're going to we're gonna show you guys what's going on with this. It's exciting. It's very exciting stuff. Today, what the, what's going on there is there is going to be a debate, essentially, a discussion. Um, and we're going to get, I guess, some snippets of it, I've been promised. And... Basically, it's going to be between the cop that has been brought in, the former squad, uh, the former, um, you know, like vice squad, um, you know, uh, supervisor uh, from Los Angeles. And he is going to be uh, basically debating with a cop there, a local cop from the area. And they're basically, you know, the, the cop from L, you know, the cop from LA is going to be arguing that, you know, what Hopper did was wrong. And the other cop is going to be off, you know, arguing that what Hopper did was all right or basically acceptable. And so that's going to be the conversation going on there today. That's very, very interesting. And so that's, you know, they're doing this and this is apparently going to be filming for promotionals or even part of the movie. So I'm not going to be able to get all of it. Um, but <laughs> whatever I get from it, I think is going to be very interesting. So we have that to look forward to. Um, they've also told me that in part, involved in that conversation also is an expert who's come in and has determined that the the bullet that did hit Hoffer w was actually from Flat Off's weapon. Now I myself am very intrigued to hear this 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 expert's analysis of how he determines that because I'm not saying it isn't true. I'm just saying to this point I've had an alternate possibility. So if this if this expert can in fact remove that alternate possibility then great i'd love to hear what he has to say so there's some interesting things but ultimately when it comes down to it what's 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 at being you know criticized here and what's being you know really put under the microscope is hoffer and his actions and and then at, in the in the wake of his actions the actions of other officers to distort the truth so there's a lot of things that go on in this that just don't that aren't right and, and so that's what's going to be getting called to attention. There, that's going to be being brought to people's attention. And then we're going to find out that after, after killing a hostage, everybody was given awards for their, part, for their role in this tragedy. And nobody gave a damn about the hostages. Nobody offered them any kind of grief counseling. Nothing. Big fat goose egg 
for the actual victims of this crime. You see, Nina wants to claim, oh no, it was all up and up, it was okay, it was we weren't doing anything wrong. Why would you... The fact that you didn't reach out and offer that kind of help to the hostages and the victims of this crime tells me that you had something personal. That's what it suggests, that the city of Nina has something personal. Why would you not do that? Why would you not do that? What reasoning tells you to ignore the victims of a crime and award the perpetrators? Or at least, maybe not, maybe not the perpetrators. Maybe that might be a harsh, harsh word. But you're, you're rewarding the people who shot a hostage and made it even more, even made this, the situation even more grief-stricken for these hostages. Because they now have a friend who didn't live through it. And nothing, nothing at all, no grief counseling, no psychology, maybe possibly psychological help or an offer of it, possibly, for what these, you know, gentlemen have gone through and the tragic situation. I mean, this is why, why would the city of Nina neglect the victims of a crime? That's the big question in a lot of ways. That's one of the big questions for me. Because people try and tell me, you know, oh, no, it's Nina. They're just, it's just a city. It's not whatever. They wouldn't do that. Well, why are they continuously making stupid decisions then? There's either stupid decisions or they have an axe to grind. So either way you take it, it's a ridiculous farce. And so... That's going to be interesting, obviously. And, you know, we got... So, two two very accomplished law enforcement officers are going to be having it out about, what you know, Hoffer's role. And 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 what, what was or wasn't wrong with what he did. So, that's going to be interesting. Can't wait to get the snippets from that. Um, they're going to be filming next summer. So, it's going to be right around the time of uh, the rally for Stephen and Brendan in Manitowoc. So... It's being kind of roughly in that time frame for those of you who are interested, um, you know, uh, in coming to rally next year. This this could potentially be two things going on, so that's something interesting to keep in mind. Um, you know, so this is exciting, and Linda's going to be coming home with lots of footage, and um, you know, she's hopefully going to talk to a lot of the actors that are going to be there. Uh, the guy playing Flat Off is supposed to come there tomorrow. Um, I asked Linda to pull the LAPD SWAT um, um, sergeant guy aside at some point and do a little interview with him and ask him about what he thinks about his role and that sort of stuff. Uh, so, and she's going to try. And then the actors coming in, you know, there's going to be some actors from New York, one playing flat off. So I'm hoping Linda's going to pull him aside and get some, get a little interview with him. And, and so hopefully Linda, cause some of these actors are now being cast that they'll, that they'll be there for this event. So hopefully Linda's going to be coming home with some really cool stuff for us. And, uh, you know, we'll get to hear from the actors and, and from David Starr himself. Um, and you guys might even see a, the conversation that I had with them. Cause I believe that Linda was recording it. So, <laughs> so Anyways, it's exciting stuff, and this just happened, so I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video and tell everybody about it, because, like I said, the, the Eagle Nation thing, I think, is going to be a huge part of getting people's interest on this area of Wisconsin, and, and, and what the heck is being allowed to happen there, right? And have people doing that whole Wisconsin again thing, right? So, that's what we're looking for. Okay. So that's why I just wanted to share those little things with you. We've got some interesting uh, exclusive content coming um, regarding the $50 million bullet, the, the upcoming docudrama about Michael Funk and, and Eagle Nation Cycles there uh, by David Starr. Uh, the, playing Michael Funk will be Dan Davies. Um, and, you know, he's, as, as David Starr says, he's not only playing Michael Funk, he is Michael Funk, right? So... This is going to be interesting, folks. Keep your eye on this. Keep your eye on, on the news about the $50 million bullet. If you haven't, go over and join the Facebook group that's been created. So, yeah, get in there and read some of the posts. Check out some of the videos and articles that are posted there. 
and you know just put your support behind this because if the bigger this thing is the better it is for steven and brendan in my opinion all right okay that's about it for this one folks if you haven't already please hit subscribe and we'll see you.